We've got the worst Thursday night football game I think I've ever seen, which is why it's so important to get in a good wager. Nobody wants to watch this thing. Just us gamblers, but lucky for us, I think I found the only possible way to bet this thing. That's why you should subscribe to this channel. No matter how bad a game is, we can always find an angle. Get your notifications on too. You don't want to miss anything. It just makes sense. But before we get into tonight, I'm getting all kinds of questions about the bet five of the ladder challenge. I released it yesterday on TikTok, X, Instagram, and right here on YouTube during the live stream. Obviously, since we're only three bets away from 10K, it's a big move. If you missed it, it's Jake Ferguson over 45 and a half receiving yards, minus 117 at Caesars. The ticket is right there on the screen. Obviously, the game isn't until Saturday night, but I think it's very important to get in front of these things. Why? Because right now, the line is 48 and a half, minus 115-ish, basically everywhere. So the question I'm getting is, can I still bet it? And that's a fair question. Obviously, we want the best line, but that's not always possible. It happens. So if I were in the shoes of someone who has not bet this yet, I'd be looking for a 50-plus receiving yards somewhere. You can find them at a lot of places. FanDuel, DraftKings, Fanatics, Caesars, all offer alt lines. You should be able to get it at like minus 105-ish or something like that. To me, that feels right. I think this game is going to see its fair share of points. And what that means is neither team should be able to just sit on the ball, which is all we're really looking for here. Jake Ferguson has been targeted eight times in each of the last four games. So he's a key piece in the Cowboys pass game behind CD Lamb. Just last week, the Vikings tight ends win 100 plus on the Lions, so it's not like the Lions are stopping these guys. If we're being honest, Ferguson could go 50 plus before halftime. He's done it before. All right, so I've said my piece there. We need to start thinking about the Cleveland Browns and New York Jets. It's only a couple hours away, and honestly, I had a hard time with this one before I finally settled on Tyler Conklin, over three and a half receptions, plus 108 at FanDuel. If this game was on a Sunday, I wouldn't bet it, but it's not. It's on Thursday night football. Not only that, it's the last Thursday night football game of the season. We have to bet this thing. We owe it to ourselves and our friends and families. But here's the thing. I may have galaxy brained this bullshit game into a guaranteed winner. Probably. Stay with me here. The Jets might not be up for this game. Their season's over and they know it. Now I think that that could affect the defense more than anything and combined with the Joe Flacco narrative on top of it, that could be a reason for the Browns to hang a few points. Now here's where it gets fun. If the Browns are able to hang a few points, not a 40 burger, but enough for the Jets to play with a trailing game script, we could see Trevor Simeon throw the ball way more than anyone would like, especially the Jets. At that point, all roads would lead to Tyler Conklin. Well, maybe Brees Hall, but his reception number is way too high for me, so I set it on Conklin. He's been targeted seven times in the two Trevor Simeon games so far, so there is that. What's better is he caught four balls in both those games. The thing is, there's still meat on the bone. If he's getting targeted seven times and only catching four passes, he could easily catch five or six tonight. Now, the haters are going to say that the Browns have given up the fewest amount of receptions to the tight end position this season. And that's true. The only thing is, they just gave up eight catches to Dalton Schultz last week. The week before that, Cole Komet caught five balls. And the week before that, Evan Ingram pulled in 11 receptions. We just need four catches out of Conklin and we're home. I think he can do it. I'll see you guys on the live stream later. Don't forget to turn on the notifications.